What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Zach from Steady Stream Cashios, and this video is all about how I'm gonna build myself a gantry. Gantry? A gantry for the next project we have going on. There's obviously many different ways to build a gantry. Uh, there's no right way, there's no perfect way, there's no wrong way technically. In the description below, I'm gonna list out everything that was needed and used to build this. I have some of the material already here, so I used what I had and went to Home Depot and got a little bit more. First things first, uh, for each base, I'm gonna do uh, cut two by six. These are two by six by 12s. I'm gonna cut it in half, double it up. That's what my wheels will be attached to. I'll cut it in half, sandwich it together, put my wheels on the bottom. And then in the middle is where my four by four by 12 will go up. So I'll show you as I go along. But for now, we need to cut these in half. And apparently yesterday, exactly. What I've got now, so I've got the half pieces, this will be my base, like I said. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this, I'm gonna screw it. I've got some two and a half inch, uh, number 10, deck screws, uh, star bit. So they're nice and meaty. Like I said, they're number 10s. They're gonna screw in, just secure that to each other. Uh, let's do that right now. Like I said, I've got my two and a half inch uh, star screws. Um, I'm gonna pre-drill uh, just so that nothing starts cracking this. Um, I would say the <laughs> Okay, so I've got one base uh, made. So what I'm gonna do now, I bought these uh, casters off of Amazon. They're heavy duty ones, they've got brakes on them. I'm gonna come in about 10 inches, just so it's not so spread out. Good, eyeball it from the center. Drill my pilot holes. I've got my wheels on now. Uh, what I've got marked here is the middle, the center, this way, center, this way. So these are six and a quarter long, so it's three and an eighth to the center. Five and a half, so it's two. It's about five and a half. Yeah, so you're looking at two and three quarters around there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a pilot hole in the center. Already did so on the back side. So what that's gonna do is these power lags. I'm gonna just screw in right here, and that is how my upright post is gonna screw into these. So I'll do one power lag, and then I'll come around the edges, and I'll do some uh, like Craig jig pilot holes on the sides to secure it better. You can't just rely on one power lag. This is the bottom. through there, so make sure it goes through. Oh yeah, there we go. When I move this over, I'll move the camera back. I'm gonna hurry up and drill pilot holes in the bottom of the four by four by 12. Real quick. Cool. Never hurts to have wood glue. Wait. So what I'm gonna do now is I drill some pilot holes. Like I said, because I want to secure this bad boy really, really well. With these two by fours right now, uh, like I said, I'm gonna make the, the supports uh, for down at the bottom to secure to the two by six and to secure to the four by four. So obviously I'll angle them uh, 45 of them doesn't really matter how 
long you do them. Um, just kind of preference. Obviously, the longer the better. <laughs> One side of one game tree is complete. One side, another side, I've got a four by four by 10 that's gonna span both sides. So in order to help hold it up, I've got these with some clamps. And that's what that's gonna do, just let it sit right there. I'll be able to secure it. I'll run some supports this way, supports this way. Might even put a piece of plywood across the top of that just to make sure that it's nice and supportive, it's braced. Next, for the corner top brackets, braces, I'm gonna put three quarter inch on both sides, like sandwich. And it will go right here. On the corner, like I said, I'll do another one, another one, another one. So there'll be four total of these on one gantry. This bad boy. Up. Put. So, what I just found was the center of my 4x4x10. Four by four by so, this is obviously the top. Um, what I'm going to do, what my plan is, is I bought this huge eye bolt with a nut. And what my hope is, it might not work. I might have to get a bigger like, carabiner or something. And my hope is I bought a chain hoist, two of them. I was gonna have a chain hoist on each one. My hope is to, my chain hoist will hook right in here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mount this baby about like right here. Uh, so I've got a drill hole. So I've got drill bit. This looks about the right size. This is half inch. I think this is 7 16 so I might be able to bang it on through. Um, but we'll see. If not, I've got a half inch that's long enough to go all the way through. But we shall see. As Colleen was editing, she told me that I forgot to show you guys the chain hoist and uh, how I put that up there. So I used the ladder, what? I got up there. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. It's time to lift off. Side for um, lifting the shell, what I chose to go with was two two by eight by 16s. Uh, screw them together, wrap the chain around it, 
lifted it up. Um, so what you need to do if you're lifting your shell is determine you're like, so this has a skylight. So I went from the front skylight to the back fan and measured and it was like 15 or something, uh, 15 and a half, I guess. Uh, so I figured, hey, 16 is good enough. It hits that support, hits the back support, plenty of support, raise it up. So what you'll do is you'll measure your front to back, um, front rib support. The C channel, I took all the C channel off. I didn't leave it on the shell. Just made it a little bit easier for when I was lifting everything up. But what I did is I come, came back and I clean code uh, some of the C channel back in. And so that gave me something good to support on. I will, as if you notice, it still has some weight on here, just a little bit. Um, I'm not done bracing this up. I will brace it up more just so that it doesn't want to move side to side, things like that. Uh, so this is just temporary, but it will be braced more because this will all come down. I will use the gantries to flip the frame and hopefully work with the belly pan that way. This helps you out if you're uh, considering building a gantry. Um, I will have a full detailed list of uh, all the wood that I used down below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Subscribe!